Today, I will walk you step by step through domain buying process via GoDaddy. I will also go and show you the easiest way how to do it, how you get to go and save a lot of money and also how to activate it because a lot of people are forgetting this and it can cause a lot of troubles later on. So let's get right into it. First big mistake a lot of people do when they want to go and purchase their first domain is going directly through GoDaddy via Google or typing that in. This method will not apply all of the automatic discounts because GoDaddy thinks that you already know about them and they don't need to go and try to persuade you that much into buying them. But as you can see, if you go through someone's link, it will automatically try to go and convert you as a potentially new customer. So they will go and automatically apply all of the discounts for you. So if you want to go and try this, you can use my link in the description or simply go to lookanals.com forward slash GoDaddy. And it should take you inside here. The visuals might be a little bit different, but the key important part here is this search bar in here. Here we want to go and put up our domain name to find if it is available for purchase. So if we want to go and see it, let's try Microsoft.com. We can see that this domain is not available. They will try to go and offer you some distinctive domains that are slightly different or they have even completely different top level domain. So everything behind the dot. But in this case, the best case scenario you can do is go and try to find completely new domain name or some abbreviation because there can be only one active domain name. So I will go back inside here and type in lookanalswebsites.com and click on continue. We can see that our exact match, what we type in, is actually available for purchase. Now you can see also on the right side, they are trying to offer us some bundles. We want to go and stay away from those, especially for small businesses or small website project. This is completely unnecessary and you will just go and waste a lot of money. So if we scroll down inside here, we can see some additional domains for purchase that we can go and add in there. But also keep in mind that different top level domains have different renewal pricing. And even though they are trying to make it look that it's a good deal of 21 cents, if you bundle those together, the total price can increase very, very fast. So I will go and highly suggest you to stick to one domain name inside here. Now we want to go and click it on make it yours and it will add it to our cart. Now, before we click continue, please be aware that this price of 21 cents is only for the first year when you go with three year term. After that, you will be paying the renewal prices. So even when you see some very good deal, it is usually tied to a longer time period for them to keep you there longer. So now when I click on continue, it will take me to this site. Some people, at least in past, they have had pre-selected the full domain protection for over $13 a year. But this, in my opinion, is completely unnecessary for you, especially if you are a small business or making a small website. The most important one, the who is privacy, that will go and protect all of your information online so people cannot go and find your real name real phone number, where you live, you will get this with every single domain for free forever with GoDaddy. So even though in here, I think they're trying to push you in there, they're highlighting recommended, you do not need it. This would be just a wasteful spend for you. And also the second one, the ultimate, they will just add extra days to it. And you can see how much more expensive that is. This can be completely avoided if you just keep your setting on that you want to go and auto renew it because with this you don't need to keep this in mind and once your domain is nearing renewal and your bank details change over time you will get a lot of notifications from them so this is completely unnecessary and if you would not see it within the first 60 days i can guarantee you that you would not see it also in the 90 days so this is completely unnecessary again this we cannot change so we have to keep this and also the second one the email, we don't need to do it just now. Always remember, you can do all of those stuff later on and they will also keep the promotional price in here. So this is not the special price that you can get only here. You can do it 100% later. So no worry, you are not missing on anything. So let's just go and continue with our card. 
And in here we can see, once again, they're trying to push the full domain protection, recommend it, don't do it. And you can see they're already applying all of the discounts automatically for us, which is really, really good. Now in here, we can see the renewal price, how much we're gonna pay. So on June 2028, I'll be paying the three year price once again. Now, why are people going with longer terms? Even though for my personal domain that I own and I use, I usually go for a longer time period. Why am I doing this? Well, you see, with inflation and everything rising, this is also occurring with a domain registrar space. So what we are now paying for one year, let's say it's around $24. I know from experience that three, four, five years later, it's going to increase again. And especially if you're buying multiple domains, locking in those today's lower prices is very, very important. And this is across all domain registrar. So if we just look at this, we can see that saving money with longer term is a real thing. And I personally am going between four and six year when I'm going for my own domain. So if I would be using this, I would probably go with a five year term inside here because in longer term, it will save you money. But since this is just a demonstration video, I will go with one year term inside here. Now we can to go and click on ready for checkout and we need to go and create our account inside here. So you get to go and continue with Facebook, Google or email. I will go and decide to go with Google, but it's a very similar to when you go with email. So you can see I've successfully used my Gmail in order to get inside here. And here we can see that they are already putting up my billing information based on the information I have on my Google. And also they already have my credit card information inside here. So you want to go and review this once again. So you get to go and review it. You can also pay with PayPal or credit card information to keep it very, very clear. So I will go and try to add new card inside here. And now we get to go and purchase our domain. But before we do that, 100% we need to go and check something. We need to go into your items and definitely review letter by letter your domain name that you have typed in. After we purchase this, we cannot go and get our money back with any domain registrar. And I have done this mistake also in past. I have typo in my domain and I needed to go and purchase additional one, which was just wasteful spent on my side. So definitely go and review that you have written this correctly. And once you 100% agree with it, that it's correct, you know that it's correct, we're going to go and click on complete purchase. And we successfully got our domain name inside here. So now I want to go and click on continue. And inside here, they will go and try to lure you into using all of their other services. In my opinion, you can do this also later. So just skip those, okay? Keep those separate. Go with not now. We don't need to do anything now. They really try to go and persuade you that you need to do all of those things now. So you don't. Once again, here they're trying to go and upsell this new service, go to the Aero. You do not need this, okay? I'll make a separate review for this. But for now, we just want our domain in here. So I will go and click on not now. And here we just need to go and wait. You can see this took us into our dashboard inside here. If I go to click on my domains, I will go and see my domain inside here. So you can see the name inside here. And also if auto renewal is on. So if you don't want to go and renew it automatically, you want to go and click on this and turn auto renewal off. In this way, you will not be charged when the renewal is also. Another thing inside here, you can see the current plan, low protection level. And you, you know why they're doing this? Because they are trying to upsell you on stuff in here. If you chose a good password in there, you do not need this, okay? It's again, they will go and try to go and give you this ownership inside here to order some stuff. You do not need it. So don't be scared of this. Those are just sales tactic. And also keep an eye on your Gmail or email you have provided them with because you sometimes get also some additional emails that you need to go 
and verify your email. Since I actually logged into this with my Google account, I do not need to go and accept anything in there. But if you are using email or even Facebook, sometimes they tend to send you a verification email, which you need to go and verify in order for your domain to be actually activated. So keep this in mind. And this is everything inside here. We successfully purchased our domain. It is active now. It's ready to be connected with the DNS server inside here. So if you want to go and connect it to already existing web hosting, you can do it inside here. So once again, if you want to go and use CodeD, definitely use someone's link. You can use mine. Then definitely try to stick with the domain you only want. You don't want to go with bundles. Try to go and check the actual letters you have in there so that you haven't misspelled anything. And also don't be scared to refuse all of their upsells and scare tactics in there. You do not need that. I hope you appreciate this tutorial. This is everything from me. Have a nice day and goodbye.